This is a package, and based on the title, you know what it is. It's a pint. Let's open it up. It's a one wheel pint. A few months ago, Christoph and I flew down to Santa Cruz and we got to see the earliest prototypes of this board, and I made a first review on it. So if you haven't seen that yet, a lot of the information you might want to know is in that video. But that was not a full review, you know? We only had an afternoon with it. So today, and over the next few days, we're putting it through its paces. I'm gonna use it the exact same way I use my XR. Let's just see how it does. Oh, honestly, it feels so good. It feels like, it feels more like, I don't know, like snowboarding surfing at a slow speed. So this is how you used to carry a one wheel. Like this, not bad, but the pint, has a built-in handle. You tell me which is more comfortable. It's this one. This is more comfortable. So we're heading down to the bayfront, the pier, the lift bridge, this kind of cool area in Hamilton for two reasons. One is that I want to test the pint in a few different terrains, so like gravel, grass, on-road, off-road, trails, that kind of stuff. And two is there's just this silly Instagram story I want to shoot where I try and do a gainer off of this concrete pier. I don't know how to do them, but that's what like influencers do. So I'm gonna do that. something like the XR is the rounded tire gives you just like this sense of carvability especially at slow speed that isn't quite there on the XR until maybe you're going a bit faster but in that regard you're not gonna hit the same speeds on the pine makes the one wheel just so much fun is it's more than just like a commuter vehicle you can really take it anywhere I think of it as like an adventure mobile where I don't necessarily know where I'm going or like what terrain it's gonna be but whether we're going over grass or gravel or trails or whatever it, it can pretty much handle anything so a lot of people thought that the like rounded tire made it a lot, I mean people call it squirrely, they say it's like unsteady, but if it was unsteady I probably wouldn't ride it on something like this. Nah, I might actually, but no, I don't find it unstable or out of control. If anything, it's just a little bit of fun to carve around, and people change their standard one wheel tires to something more rounded all the time. And maybe I will, and maybe I won't, and maybe I will. As someone who rides daily to and from the studio, in and around the studio, on adventures from the studio, I'm very well acquainted with these boards and how they feel, and how they react in all sorts of environments. I dropped off that Jeep, which was actually a rental car that I had for reasons, and went and got some sandwiches and then rode back across the city to the studio, a ride I make all the time. All right, so I'm on my very first like home to studio commute testing to see what it feels like in my everyday life because this commute is something I do every day. And I've got to say, the top speed is noticeably slower. I'm getting pushed back quite a bit earlier than I would on the XR. As someone who typically rides around 29, 30 kilometers on average an hour, I was really only going about 22, 23 kilometers an hour on the pint. Is this a bad thing though? No, I mean, I ride faster than I would recommend other people riding. I've got a ton of experience, thousands and thousands of kilometers on my boards. So for me, I wanna go faster, but for the average user, this is actually probably the speed you should ride before a fall starts becoming like, Fatal because as you start progressing the speeds you start risking accidental falls and failures potentially overpowering the motor and the faster you're going in any of those unlikely and unfortunate events the worse the fall is going to be See a lot of people 
people make the comments that a one wheel isn't worth it because you could buy every all these other electric rideables that go so much faster for the same price. And to me, that's a bit of a ridiculous comparison because you don't buy a Wrangler because it's not as fast as an M8. You buy a Wrangler because it can go anywhere. So for me, the one wheel is like a Jeep. If you don't know what kind of terrain you're going on, is it gonna be roads or sidewalks or grass or trails or rocks or beaches, whatever, you can take this there. Whereas this board, so this is the X-Way X1 Pro and I've got the riot pack inside and it is fast. Like we're talking 45 kilometers an hour fast. It's like almost blow, yeah, blow your hat off fast. Ugh. But I gotta get off the board, gotta turn it around. Ugh. Now these kinds of boards definitely have their place and they are still a ton of fun and I wanna talk more about this board in the future. However, certain terrains, you just gotta get off your board and walk because you don't want one of these little wheels dropping into that train track and sending you flying over the front. It's just a totally different ride experience. <laughs> and for me, this is probably more practical like most of the time. The range is stated at about six to eight miles. I believe the plus was five to seven, so it's relatively similar. The range on my plus never bothered me because it charged so quickly and I wasn't going on long things. However, when I did get the XR, that added range just completely changed how I ride because I started adventuring new areas of my city that I didn't even know existed because I didn't have that range anxiety. So the point for me isn't gonna be a go adventure board. It's gonna be a grocery getter, jaunt around the studio, quick fun commutes, that kind of thing. Whereas the XR is definitely gonna be my go-to when I wanna go find some waterfalls or hit some trails or spend the day adventuring around the city. One of the areas that I'm actually really excited about the Pint for is teaching people. It's smaller and less intimidating and it has a feature that is really gonna help people learn which is called simple stuff. Getting on and off the one wheel is, I mean it's fine now, but when you're learning or when you're teaching someone, it can be a little bit tricky. Here's what most people do when they're trying to get off for the first time. Eventually, they start becoming more comfortable just jumping off with both feet, standing long jump style. The way you're meant to dismount is by just lifting your heel off of that front sensor. However, this has always been a little bit confusing for people that are just starting out, so One Wheel has introduced something called Simple Stop. I didn't bring my phone with me, so I actually can't show you this outside. We'll go inside for that one. Simple Stop is a feature that you can find in the One Wheel app and you can both turn it on and off from there. And once it's enabled, it activates a mode where going in reverse will ease the board into an off position. So essentially you only have two modes, forward and dismounting. Yeah. Forward and dismounting. Forward and dismounting. Because sometimes people are going and they go, okay, how do I stop? And I say, lean back and they start leaning back and then they start going backwards. And they're like, well now what do I do? I'm like, Le lean the other way. So that's not gonna happen to you with Simple Stop. Honestly, there's not really much to say about the Pint. It's half the price of the XR. You can't really expect it to be better in every way. It's really only better in price, Simple Stop, size, slow speed fun. You know, you can basically get two Pints for the price of one XR. And there's a case to be made for going that route. Maybe you and your spouse, or your kids, or your friends, or your uh, elderly neighbor, I don't know. One wheels are better with friends. It's so fun to go adventuring with your friends on one wheels, and as soon as you get one, I guarantee you're gonna start convincing people in and around you that they need one too. In fact, you don't even need to convince them. Everyone around you is gonna be constantly asking, how much is it, where did you get it, how can I get one, can I ride yours? Um, you're so cool, I love you, and other compliments as well. They're gonna want one. I genuinely love the one wheels, I ride them every day. Rain, shine, sun, snow, clouds, all the places, all the things. It's my favorite thing, things I guess now. If you are ever in the neighborhood, we've got a few of them here. Uh, stop by, let's shred. All right, I guess that's it. I mean, if you've enjoyed this video at all, 
if you're a one wheeler or an e skateboarder or a is that solo wheel here somewhere or a person who rides whatever these things are called uh <laughs> Please, you know, follow along, subscribe. You can hit the notifications because that's something that you're supposed to do if you actually want to see the videos. Uh, why am I holding this? Also, please leave a comment down below. Ask a question. Give me some feedback. Don't be a jerk. I, that hurts my feelings. I'm just a regular human trying my best. This is getting weird. Uh, I love you. Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs>